Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Now okay, Nabu. Remote control. Is the front door locked? Yes. Full of my shots. Okay, so Nabu. Turn off the kitchen lights. Turned off the light. Discasso didn't mess around with this machine every... Okay, so whenever I made the video on this Home Assistant voice preview, somebody had left a comment about whether or not it would be possible to configure an automation to automatically pause or mute any audio that's playing in a room. That way, the voice assistant like pipeline doesn't pick up that background audio because that, that can mess up your commands. And it is possible, and I'll show you how. It works pretty well. There is a bit of lag between whenever the wake word gets detected and when it gets everything kind of muted. And so there can be a little bit of overlap in the audio, but I found that it's pretty reliable. Probably 75% of the times it gets everything paused fast enough that it can detect your command with no real problem. So let's look at the Home Assistant environment and I'll show you how to get that automation set up. Okay, so for this to work, you do need your audio devices set up as media players. You need your voice assist pipeline all configured. You need your voice satellite also already set up. But if that stuff's already set up, here's how the automation's gonna work. So over here on the left, I'm just gonna scroll down until I get to settings. Then we're gonna go into automations and you're gonna start a new automation. So whenever you do this, create a new automation and you wanna add a trigger, the trigger is going to be an entity, and the entity you're gonna be looking for is called Assist Satellite, and that is the particular device, and then you want this entity for your voice assistant satellite device. Now, what you're gonna do is set the trigger so that if it goes from any state to listening, that's gonna be the trigger condition, right? So as soon as its state changes from anything to I am now listening for commands, it's gonna run this automation. Now you actually need two separate automations, one to mute and then one to unmute. So for the mute automation, you're gonna pull in any media player that you might have. And so I've got the TV, and I've got my audio receiver set up both as media players. So whenever you go to add these, you're gonna do add action, and then scroll down until you find media player because these are specific actions for media players. And then you're gonna look for mute, unmute volume or pause depending on how your device responds. So I'm using both. I'm muting my audio receiver and then I'm gonna pause whatever's on the TV because a lot of times that's gonna be YouTube or you know HBO or something where it is pausable media, not live stream stuff. And so for that, pause works for that device. And I also have the mute set up because no matter what happens, even if I can't pause what's on the TV, I want to mute the audio and that is the priority. So I've got the mute set up first in the chain. So I click mute, unmute. Then you're gonna look for your device or entity. And again, for my Denon receiver, that's the name of that device. And now the next thing I've found is that you might have to use this muted option to mute. And basically uh, it seems like there's a difference between some devices, the mute button is simply a toggle and it changes from whatever state it's at to the other. And I think other devices have individual potentially commands for mute and unmute. And I've found that my Denon receiver responds to direct you need to be muted or you need to be unmuted. It's not a simple toggle. So in order to get it to mute, not only am I using the mute unmute option, I'm also gonna set it to muted. That way it is sending, I guess, the mute command. I don't know that that's actually what's happening, but that works and not having that toggle doesn't work. So there you go. Now for the TV, it's pretty simple. I've got the pause command to trigger. And so, again, you can do a pause, play, toggle, but again, I want it to deliberately pause, not toggle. So I've got it pauses, and that's it, right? Now you can just save this. You'll name it whatever you wanna name it. I'm calling it voice detection mute. And then we just redo this, and I've got it set up for voice detection unmute. And for the unmute, I'm gonna go from any state to 
idle. And that means once the pipeline is done and it's all finished and it returns to the idle state, it's going to run this automation. And again, in order, I've got an unmute command. Now this one is the same mute unmute, but I don't have the toggle because I guess this is going to define that it is not muted. And then for the TV, again, I've got it so that it runs the play command on that media player. And it works, works pretty well. Like I said, there's a little bit of delay and it doesn't work perfectly 100% of the time, but it works well enough that again, probably 75% of the time it works the first time. And it's almost like the second time, if it fails the first time to get muted fast enough, the second time it does it, it seems to go quicker, like everything's kind of fresh. Um, I know with my TV, it, it's older. My TV's like seven or eight years old and so it takes it a bit sometimes to respond to that play pause command and that's why I have the priority on the mute here because it does kind of run these in order it will try to run what's first first you can change that priority level by the way by over here in the menu clicking and then you can see this move up move down and so you can move things in order so it will try to issue those commands in order but that's all there is to it I don't want to drag this out um, once this is working, seems to work pretty well. So if you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. As always, appreciate your time.